Today, another lengthy suspension given to a Barber's High School, uh, excuse me, a, a Barber's High School junior who school officials say is violating the dress code. Yeah, this after he's already spent weeks isolated from his peers because a staff member said his hair was too long. Tonight, Devin Clark shows us how long his punishment is being extended this time and what one of the people who vote on the rules has to say about that. Devin. Keith Daniela, after trying multiple times to reach Barbers LISD school officials on the main lines didn't work, we decided to reach out to each and every single board member. Take a look at what we got. After this report aired last night. I won't go to class. That's all I won't do. Just, just get me out of ISIS. Today, 17-year-old Barbers Hill High School junior Daryl George was given another referral for in-school suspension, where he's been for weeks now. This latest referral, as seen here, tacking on five more days of punishment. Barbers Hill High School officials say his hair length violates the district's male student hair length policy, despite it being braided up and not in his face or down his neck. With no response from school officials, we tried reaching out to every board member, starting with Benny May. Hello. You have reached the Texas Association of School Boards. The number listed for him wasn't his direct line. We tried George Barrera. Mark Wilson. Eric Davis. Uh, you reached the voicemail box of Eric Davis. And Becky Tice, the only one who we were able to reach. Hey, this is Devin Clark. I'm a reporter with KPRC 2 News on record. Was Fred Skinner, who had this to say. On the day he came, apparently they said that his hair was too long. We saw him yesterday, and his hair isn't below his eyebrows or his, even below the back of his, um, his neck or well, even below I, his ears. Okay, well, I have not seen him, but... But the people who work for us have said that his hair is out of uh, policy. Would you be willing to take a look yourself? I am not the person who makes that evaluation. We have people hired to do that. A memo sent to parents yesterday suggests that Darrell is going to stay in in-school suspension until a court clarifies the Crown Act, which bans racial discrimination against hairstyles. We do know, as mentioned yesterday, his family is in the process of filing a federal lawsuit tomorrow. Reporting live, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News. All right, Devin.